Hey, it's your boy Drees. I'm back with it. I told y'all I was going to get back to my long format content. You know, I ain't did one in a little minute. You know what I'm saying? Life been going on and and I've been uh, on YouTube doing shorts and, you know what I'm saying? I really been focused on shorts on YouTube, you know. But uh, I'm back, though. You know what I'm saying? I got a little video right here. This is a good one, too. It's real good, too. You know, I'm going to try not to make it go so long because it's starting to get dark already out here. And I don't want it to get dark on this video, too. So, But the name of this video is called Distraction is the Name of the Devil's Game. The name of the Devil's Game is called Distraction. Right? I'm going to pray real quick because I always pray in my videos. You know what I'm saying? So I wanna, I'm want to. i going to pray real quick. Father, I just thank you, Father, for letting me get back to this. To, to, to doing these videos and these words come from you, Father. I ask you, let these words fall on good ground. Let them understand what I'm saying and learn from these videos because these are your words, Father. Help them to continue to grow up and obey the things you're saying and just have the wisdom to defeat the enemy. The enemy is trying to distract us in so many ways. So I ask you to just let, this, let, let the words come from you, Father, just through me. Give me the words to say anything that's not in my notes. Help me to say it and to say it that, that, that they can help them, Father. I just love you and receive all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So, yeah, I got my notes like I usually have. I got them on my phone today, this other phone I got. So this phone might cut off on me. So, Leah, let me let me get to it. But I only got three points, though, to make. You know what I'm saying? This, it's, it's about distractions, but it's, it's, it's so many of them, but I'm only going to tell you all about three of them, right? So the first one, the first distraction that, the, that I'm talking about the devil use is your phone. It's your phone. It's our phones that's distraction, right? Because he the devil, I'm going to read from the notes right now so I won't forget these things. He the devil will keep us distracted, distracted from reading the Bible, from looking at godly things by constantly having us on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, on Snapchat, and so many other apps. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that the apps is bad because ain't nothing wrong with Facebook. Ain't nothing wrong with YouTube and none of these apps. Ain't nothing wrong with them. It's just the way the devil play the game is I'm going to keep you distracted, though. And he's going to keep you, like I said, he's going to keep you distracted from reading your Bible. You ain't got no time. That's how he that's how he doing it. That's how the devil play the game. You ain't got no time. You on Instagram. You on Facebook, right? We just sitting here just strolling and strolling on Instagram, on TikTok, strolling at all these videos, watching these dance videos, watching this, these memes, watching all this gossip stuff going on. And you and, and you distracted from your father. You distracted from hearing God's voice. Most people don't, don't even hear God's voice. Right. I did a video on that, too. Go check that out about how to hear God's voice. And you should be hearing God's voice, but you're not because you distracted because the enemy is distracting us. This is the name of his game to keep you away from God. He, he on the job all day. The devil don't got nothing else to do but distract you. He don't have nothing else to do. That's all the demons do. He got a, a demon assigned to each and every person. And some he got multiple demons to keep you because you strong. But 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 he he study the demons study us all day, and they just and they like yeah stay on Facebook, you know what I'm saying they 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 get inside and they prompt you to even you know what I'm saying it's like a drug I gotta get back on this like it's a demon. So like I said, he don't want you to have a relationship with God, and he don't want you to stay connected to God because that's your power source, right? It's called distraction. He thinks, see, the devil thought is, I'm going to keep them away from him. And him is the devil enemy. Him is our father, though. The one that loves us the most. So the devil, like, I'm going to keep you away from him. That's, the, that's all he's trying to do. So, like I said, he's using our phones. So we got to control this stuff. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we got to balance it. It's a time to get on Facebook. And it's a time to read the Bible. It's a time to get on YouTube and Instagram, and it's a time to pray, right? Spend some time in prayer talking to God. God, I love you. God, help me with this. I'm struggling with this. It's a time for prayer, but we barely pray. We only pray when it's an emergency. When somebody's sick or dying or something extreme, it's because we distracted, but we got all day to be on Facebook. 
We got all day to be on YouTube and, you, and Instagram and all these other apps. So it's not a lack of time. It's just that we distract it. So that's why God is telling you now and telling us now to cut off the distractions. You like do the use it as balance. You know what I'm saying? Get on the apps, but yeah, still open your Bible sometime. Open up your Bible and read. You should know Matthew, Mark. You should know what Colossians say. You should know what happened in Noah Day. You should know what happened with Daniel, Abraham, Isaac. You know what I'm saying? Solomon, you're supposed to know all these things. You know what I'm saying? Because this is God's letter to you. It's God's love letter to us. But we ain't even opened it. We ain't never got no time for that because we distracted. But no longer. After you hear this, no longer. Open up your Bible. Go to church. You know what I'm saying? Look at sermons. Like, look at positive things. It ain't necessarily got to be about God all the time. You can look at positive stuff, too, though. Learn something that's going to teach you. But not distracted by on Facebook and stupid stuff. Like, we ain't getting nothing from that. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I don't want to sound like I'm mad because I love y'all. I'm doing this video because I love y'all. And I want y'all to get it. You know what I'm saying? Me, too. This is speaking to me, too. But I've been tuning it out. Like, I've been I've been in my on my stuff, though. That's why God is using me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't perfect, but I've been on it. So, yeah, that's the first one. Our phones. It's a major distraction. And even while you're reading, that's what God just said. Even while you're reading, the, the, the devil really going to make these notifications. Ding, ding, ding. Like you're trying to pray. Ding, ding. Your notifications going off. Right? Distraction. He don't want you connected to God, your power source. I said that before. It's like when you unplug from God, it's like when you unplug your charger. The minute we unplug our phones, it's starting to die. And you stay connected, disconnected from God. Like, man, you just low energy. You know what I'm saying? I'm stressed out. Like, you just weak. You spiritually weak. You can't fight the devil because you ain't got no power. God is our power source. We need him. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's that's the first one. Your phones. Like I said, have that balance. And number two, the second distraction, I'm only going to give you all uh, three, but number two is sports, right? Sports. I'm not saying that sports is bad, right? Because it's not. I grew up playing sports. I love sports. It's not bad in itself, but the devil used it as a distraction. No, it's a major distraction. You know what I'm saying? Because God let me see a vision. It was like, was it today or yesterday, God? I can't remember. I think it was today. God let me see a vision of a demon, right? It was a man sitting in the chair and a demon was just looking at the man right there in the chair. And the man, and I saw the TV too. He was looking at a game. It was like a basketball game. And the demon was right there looking at him and just shaking his head. And the demon was saying, he's so stupid. He's sitting right here putting all his time and energy and his heart, his heart is all into that game. He's spending money on that game because you got to pay to watch these games. Whether you watch it on your phone or TV, you got to pay for that phone. So you got to pay to watch that game. You know what I'm saying? You got to pay for the cable. You got to pay for the electricity. You got to pay. So you putting your money into it, your energy into it. You rooting for them and they don't even know you. You know what I'm saying? These people don't even know us. And we just arguing about it. We sitting there debating about it all day. And the demon was looking at this person like you stupid. That's what the demon was saying. Cause, cause, and another reason he was saying, cause I'm keeping you distracted from God too. You know what I'm saying? I got you all uh, uh, into something that don't mean nothing. At the end of the day, it's not helping your life. That's what the demon was saying too. This game that you watch is not helping your life at all. That's what the demon was saying. So I'm just, God gave me this vision to give to y'all to let you know, man, watch the game. Yeah. It's a time to watch the game, right? God wants us to enjoy life too. But don't give it more energy than God. You're rooting for these people more than you talk about God. And Jesus came and died for you. These people didn't die for you. I mean, I love Steph Curry and all these people. I love Steph, right? He's one of my favorite players. But Steph Curry didn't die for me. Steph Curry ain't helping me. You know what I'm saying? At all. You know what I'm saying? So we, we just got to recognize that the devil used these things, sports, as a distraction. He keeping you distracted away from your father. So again, use the balance, watch the game, but just understand, God, I'm going to still have some time for you. I'm still going to pray and talk to you, God. 
and not just when I need something. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to be screaming for these people that don't know me more than Jesus. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you got to talk about God all the time. God don't want all our time and attention. But at least let people know. Get passionate about Jesus. Be like, man, he just, you know what I'm saying? I love the Lord. I love God. Let people know that. You would say the Braves in this when the Braves lose, you mad and you sad. And your favorite team, you out here mad. We out here. I used to do that. God took my God told me to take my heart out of sports. You know what I'm saying? Because when your, your team lose, I used to have a bad, I'm a 49er fan. When they just lost the Super Bowl, I'm disappointed. I'm feeling some kind of way. Why though? Why? They don't know me. Only way you should really feel some type of way, really, if you bet it some money. Because I lost some money on that. But if not, then what you so upset about? It's just a game, really, though. We were thinking about it. It's really just a game. They just shooting the ball. They just throwing the touchdown. It's a game, literally. It's not real life. It's not something that's affecting everyday life. And I'm getting a little passionate because I'm, I want y'all to feel it. I want y'all to get it. You know what I'm saying? The way God is telling me. He telling me this stuff. I'm telling y'all. Understand that sports is not something that's really important. If you striving to play, make it to the league, it's good. You know what I'm saying? You can make a living like that. You know what I'm saying? It's a positive thing. You ain't hurting nobody. You playing sports, right? It's not a bad thing. I'm not saying sports is bad. It's a good thing. But it's just, and the devil use it as a distraction, though. You got to understand the name of his game is distraction. So I'm using this to keep you away from God from your power source. So that's number two, sports. Just had a balance. You know what I'm saying? Watch the game, but still open your Bible up. Pray. You know what I'm saying? Look at sermons. You know what I'm saying? Get on there and just look at some stuff that's going to feed your spirit. That's going to feed you. Like, you know what I'm saying? God love you. And these people don't. That's the difference. Know that. And the last one, the last one is lust and sex, right? And, and and this connects with number one, your phone. Because most of the time we on our phone looking at this stuff. We on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? L strolling, looking at booties, looking at baddies. Most And it's men most of the time with this one. It's most of the time with lust was is a man thing. Most of the time women do it too. And women are starting to increase sadly in these days. They get more promiscuous and more wild, out of control. Which, you know what I'm saying? I'm hoping videos like this and other people that can minister life into you and, and, and minister God into you and minister morals into you. You know what I'm saying? You could turn from that. But I'm saying the name of the devil game is, is distraction and he using lust and sex, right? And like I said, you're on your phone looking at porn, right? I used to do that. I got delivered from porn about two years ago. As a man of God, as a prophet, I was addicted to porn too. You know what I'm saying? I'm being honest and transparent with y'all. I was addicted. And then I just went to go see Apostle Catherine. I was delivered from lust. Like, I don't even lust at all no more. It's been almost a week, right? I know people can say it's just been a week, right? But still, before that week, I, I'm, I'm looking too. I'm looking at everything. I'm looking at women. I'm looking at booties. I'm looking. I'm on Facebook looking at people, pictures. And you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not having sex with them. I'm not actually doing it. I wasn't doing nothing like that, but I still was looking and it was a distraction. I'm spending hours too. you. You looking at somebody, click on somebody pay, looking at their pictures, go through their pictures, looking at the booties and you know what I'm saying? All kind of stuff, man. Like this is the name of the enemy's game to keep you distracted. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I understand why God telling us to get married, get married and, and, and look at your wife, look at your husband, private parts. You know what I'm saying? Like, we shouldn't be posting these pictures of, you, you know what I'm saying? See through stuff and, and posting. Women shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be posting your butt trying to let everybody. Why you shouldn't want to see everybody show your butt for? You know what I'm saying? Why you in a in a bikini and a thong on a picture? Why you want everybody to see that? It's lust. You know what I'm saying? And it's the name of the devil game. And and lust, he this he got to get inside of you really to really get you to to get you to lust. He get, once he get inside of you, these demons, they going to have you give a strong urge. I just can't stop it. I can't stop looking. I, you know what I'm saying? That's why I had to get delivered from that. It's like a you need you need deliverance. Most of the people, 
almost everybody need deliverance because the demons ain't got inside. You know what I'm saying? Right now, they're not inside of me. They So they got to work from the outside. They can only speak to your mind. They can tell you, look at that. Look at this. God don't love you. This and that. They can speak to your mind always. But if they get inside you, they can they can give you a strong desire for this. It's like I just can't stop doing that. Whatever that thing is, this sin. If they get inside you, they're going to keep it's going to be bad. Everything you do is going to be bad. You know, I'm not saying everything you do, but I'm saying the thing they make you do is going to be bad. That's all they do. They want you to sin against God. So I'm telling y'all that you have to control that. And, and if and if you got this strong desire for lust, I'm telling you that you need deliverance. I'm working. I'm getting stronger to the point where I'm going to do it, too. You know what I'm saying? Like we should be doing it, but ain't many people operate. But I, I point you to Apostle Catherine. You know, look at her Zoom calls. See when she coming somewhere close to you and go, go see her. Because them demons, when they see her, they scream out. She's so strong in the Lord where she, she, she they leave, they leave. And she just, she, she tell them to come out in the name of Jesus, come out. And you just feel like a new person. I feel like a new man. I'm so strong right now. My spirit is so strong right now after going to see her. And I'm not pointing to her. It's a Jesus inside her, right? She's just a woman like us. She ain't special. I'm saying like that, but she's so strong in the Lord. So I'm telling y'all that this, this is just another one of the enemy's tactic. It's called lust, right? And, I, and we, covered, we covered your phone, right? Sports. And lust, these just three of them. It's so many more. I'm, I, I'm sure I'm going to have to do a part two and part three. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to cut this one off right here. You know what I'm saying? Because it, this enough. But like I said, just just, just be mindful of these things. You know what I'm saying? Just understand when I'm on my phone, you know what I'm saying? Let me not be on this phone all day looking at nonsense. Looking at stupid stuff that ain't helping my life. Look at something that's going to help your life. Like I said, it ain't always got to be godly stuff. It ain't necessarily got to be sermons and stuff. It can be, let me look at how to build a house. Let me look at, let me look at how to do the stock market. You know what I'm saying? Let me learn about stocks and bonds. Let me learn about how to control my anger. You know what I'm saying? Let me learn about financial management. Let me learn about something. It ain't necessarily got to be about God, but, 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 but definitely the things about God is the best. Who's better than God? Who better than God? You know what I'm saying? Looking at godly things. Somebody that's going to teach you something about God. Right? So I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I only do these videos because I love y'all. And God tell me to do it and I'm obeying him. You know what I'm saying? I'm obeying God. You know what I'm saying? I thought I had something else um, to say about that. Um, I said, uh, um, that's it though. That's it. That, that's it. I said I had these notes, but, but I think I covered it. Like, I, but no, no, it's the last thing I'm gonna say. We was made, thank you, Father. Like, we was made. I don't know if y'all heard that before. Maybe I'm sure, but we we all was made with a void inside of us. It's an emptiness inside of all of us that only God can feel. You know what I'm saying? So no weed gon' gon' fill it. No drink. No sex. No girl. No man. Ain't nothing can fill this emptiness inside of us but God. He the creator, and he created where, where, where you need me. But I love you so much that I'm going to just do good to you. All God want to do is good for you. Why not pray to him? Why not open up his word? His word is a good book. It, it's good. All he got is all these promises in there. Only bad part is for those that's evil in the, in the Bible. It's all about, I want to bless you. I want to heal you. I, I love you. I, I want to give you this money. I want to save you forever. I want to got these angels around you. That's what the Bible, that's all the Bible is saying. All these good things. So why not read that? That's his love letter. And I'm saying this emptiness that's inside of you. This emptiness only God can feel. You know what I'm saying? So you, you go to your father and get that emptiness filled. Either you do or you don't. You, you, you ain't nothing going to never fulfill it. I'm telling you, you will never be fully at peace and full of joy without God. You can't be. So I love y'all. I went a little longer than that. I thought I was going to try to go 10 or 15 minutes. It's almost at 20 minutes. I love y'all. Y'all can look at the video again and just remember these things. The name of the game for the devil is called distraction. Distraction is the name of the devil's game. 
He said, I'm going to keep you distracted from him. So don't let him. Love y'all.